<laughs> so uh, my point is that um, we know that uh, we are now uh, launching a lot of uh, space uh, trash and uh, some uh, functional devices, and we should allow others to be even more accomplished than we are. And again, it's a sense of humility approaching the universe uh, without assuming that we know the answers in advance, because uh, so far we realize that we are wrong on many occasions. We are not at the center of the universe. We don't know what most of the matter in the universe is. It's not the substance that we are made of. It's called dark matter. We don't know what most of the energy in the universe is. So we, we don't know a lot of things. And assuming that the universe is lifeless or doesn't have intelligence as the zero, the default assumption uh, yeah. is just uh, not very wise because then you tell yourself, I don't need to check. Uh, it's an extraordinary claim that requires extraordinary yeah. evidence. And I don't invest in, in the search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And about that, uh, that work that you do that is uh, extraordinary uh, with the Galileo project, you have, as far as I understand, two branches, the UAP that can be used for analyze UAP and also to help governments, for instance, like United States government. And you have the interstellar objects branch that is independent from the other one that study objects like 3i Atlas or Muamua, etc. And many more that will will come with the, the new Vera Robin uh, right. uh, in action, no? Yeah. Mm, and uh, can you explain, uh, summarize a bit of uh, that work for the future that you have uh, the intentions with uh, and the goals with the uh, Galileo project? Right. So with uh, the UAP, the Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, we are trying uh, to construct uh, uh, a number of observatories. We have already put three and we are expecting to get uh, data on millions of objects in the coming year. The latest observatory, I mentioned it on the Joe Rogan uh, podcast, uh, was constructed in Las Vegas uh, on the Sphere, uh, which is an amazing uh, place. And uh, we have uh, three units, one on the Sphere and two others separated by 10 kilometers. And that allows us to do triangulation, basically look at a given object in the sky from different directions and figure out its distance, velocity, acceleration. And that would allow us to figure out if the object is performing within the envelope of technological objects made by humans. And um, uh, so we will go through millions of objects and try to see if there is anything extraterrestrial. If we don't find anything, you know, so be it. And uh, it's still a very useful exercise because then the Department of War in the U.S. can take advantage of the uh, uh, methods that we use uh, in terms of sensors, in terms of the analysis. So it still will be useful for national security. But um, at the moment, you know, we, we really want to figure out if there is anything anomalous. And moreover, if there is any additional activity uh, in the months after three atlas passed the closest to the sun, because that would be really interesting. And I actually encouraged NASA, another thing that I communicated to them, but you know, may, hopefully they, they were listening, uh, is that uh, they should check for any unusual objects near Mars. Uh, they have the rovers and they have uh, uh, the orbiter, the Mars Reconnaissance uh, Orbiter, so they can look if there is more activity, if there are any new objects orbiting Mars as a result of the fact that 3A Atlas came close to Mars. This is something that is easy to search for in the images. Uh, and in principle, the public can also do that as long as they share the images. Uh, we can check if there is any unusual objects um, that were not there before. Okay, so that would be interesting. Now, from the Galileo project, you know, we whatever we find, uh, we will share with the public uh, because it's a scientific project. There is no reason for us to keep it. Um, and then um, there is another aspect which is looking for materials from uh, interstellar meteors. And I went on an expedition to the Pacific Ocean after the first interstellar meteor and uh, there was a Netflix documentary uh, film made about that and some other work that I've been doing. And it, the Netflix documentary should come out in uh, 2026, middle probably. And so check it out. It should be interesting for people to watch uh, what we did there. We will. We will for sure. I will. I will. I don't have Netflix anymore for a while, but I will do it just for that uh, documentary. I promise. And um, it's it's an exclusive fre fresh news here that we have that you will and you intend to analyze during four months later 
of 3i atlas to check on earth the activity of uh, uaps that's very important and not only that uh, on mars but that you will not reach there there but you advised nasa and other space institutions to uh, check whatever happens around mars because there could be some probes there that's super exciting <laughs> Right, right. Uh, but that's, of course, in the scenario where three atlas is technological. Yeah, it's, of course. Always a, a natural comet, you won't see anything. Always, always that. We we, we always have the, the, the hypothesis as, as uh, the, the start. And um, just uh, one more thing. You had the, the book in 2021, The Extraterrestrial. It was about Oumuamua. And one year later, 22, it was The Interstellar, right? Yeah. Will we have a third book now with 3i Atlas? Well, first, there is a third book already written that I just finished uh, a month ago, and that is about the expedition to the Pacific Ocean. Ah, and, okay. uh, hopefully that will come out in 2026, along with the Netflix documentary. The publisher is uh, MIT Press. And mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm thinking about uh, then a fourth book about the uh, 3i Atlas. Uh, but uh, you know we are still in the process of uh, collecting data on it so it's too early for me to to start planning for that and uh, once the dust uh, settles on three atlas then i can decide exactly what to put into it okay dr lowe thank you very much for being here i hope you have uh, the opportunity to be here with us in the future again sorry for this issue with with the image but it happens during live streams but i like this raw conversation with you so all people in the world can understand in what you're really feeling about this uh, weird object that has no tail it still has no tail which is also interesting yeah it was a great pleasure to join you i really enjoy the conversation and yeah. Uh, my advice to everyone is stay curious, despite of what you are being yeah. told. Just stay curious. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll pass the message. Thank you so much and see you next time. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.